Hi guys, I'm Alex from Mason Lifestyle. I hope you're all doing well. Um, so I thought about doing today's video on a little fabric and pattern, kind of like what I'm planning. But I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on at Joann's and why I have been kind of holding back on pretty much I'm telling you on sales. I know that there was like a new look pattern sale through Hobby Lobby. I usually like to physically get off my butt and go check that there is in fact a sale and take pictures and all of that so you guys have it. But I know that Joann's filed for bankruptcy perhaps maybe like a month ago, month and a half ago, which is kind of like a little bit sad. Because I do tend to go there quite a bit to go get notions. I'm famous for, I'm always running out of thread, which gets into a whole slew of things. But kind of things are looking a little sad over there. And I'm seeing that some of the things that I tend to buy again and again and again, they're no longer being restocked. And we know why, which... Again, it's a little bit sad, and mainly that has to do with some of the big four patterns. Obviously, if perhaps you are very late on paying your bills, or perhaps you're not able to pay them, then you don't get stock. So I haven't seen, perhaps I haven't seen maybe like the last two, three releases for any of the patterns, McCall's, Simplicity, Vogue, butter egg i haven't seen not one in my local store so if i want any of those patterns i have to order them from simplicity.com and with that being said the last couple of releases which maybe it's been a godsend nothing is really kind of speaking out to me calling to me is that something that i need to make and i'm really trying to focus on on making things that i need because my time these days are so limited. And, you know, my sister told me the other day, oh, you have all this free time. I'm like, no, where is it? Um, for example, last week the kids had state testing. Then they had like half days and then one day off, one day full. It just completely throws off my schedule. That's neither here or there. But um, getting back to getting back to Joann's, you know, I'm missing some of the staple things that I buy. I buy, I buy a double brush jersey called Coconut Milk. Um, double brush jersey. They're completely out of stock at my store, and I believe from their main warehouse, they're also out of stock. If I want to get it, I have to buy it from another store. Maybe that's like perhaps an hour away, one way. So it's like, hmm, do I really, is that good use of my time? Perhaps not. Um, or off-white thread, which I think that's when things really kind of like sink in. Like they are, they are on bankruptcy and um, sure enough, there are some things that are not going to be getting restocked here um, a lot. So I'm really trying to trying to buy fabric from those smaller independent stores that I know their quality is up to snuff. I'm also um, trying to buy patterns when they are on sale and I'll show you what I've gotten. And that I know that the draft drafting is up to snuff because guys, I got no time. I got no time to see if things are not kind of jiving, if things are not working. I got no time for that. I used to have time for that, not anymore. So with that being said, let me show you what I've gotten. And I'll also link all of these fabrics um, in my website and I'll try to link them below on this video. Let's go to the design table. So as I've mentioned, I'm really trying to make a conscientious effort to one, use some of the fabric I have to really buy from independent stores where I know that if I send an email that there is a human being at the end of the line and I know who the human being is, so they'll be apt to answer my questions. 
bought. Um, I I got this pattern. This is the Laura trousers from Vicky Sews. Yes, size 50, which translates to, I believe, size 20 US. Um, I had I had talked to someone on Instagram, Bianca. She is out in Germany and she really likes Vicky Sews. She has sewn this pair of trousers. They're called the Laura trousers. And I know um, a few of you have mentioned Vicky Sews. Guys, I actually made a, I actually made a muslin for these trousers. And if you've never purchased from them, Vicky Sews, you kind of have to you kind of have to think a little bit before you hit buy because first you have to pick your height and mine is 162 um, centimeters to 168 and then they have you pick your size you don't get multiple sizes you get one size so you try to really get as close as possible and yes you are going to have to make some adjustments whatnot so I bought this pattern and I printed it out. Okay, right? It was so different from the other patterns that I have bought and that I have made a ton of adjustments and sometimes I just get frustrated um, because I got a Puerto Rican booty and I got to make room for it. But again, that's neither here or there. But I made a muslin for these Laura trousers and I could not believe that I had zero adjustments to this pattern down to the inseam if you don't know what an inseam is it is the length from your crotch all the way to pretty much your hem wherever you want your hem right and depending on your height that changes but since you are purchasing this pattern based on your height then you do not have to you know adjust on that Sure enough, I didn't have to adjust nothing on this. Like nada. It was it was crazy to me. So I already made a muslin for this. And this is um this is stretch 12. I actually bought this from Joanne's. It went on sale last year. And I always peruse the sales aisle. I have no idea if there's any left. But um, they had it in gray a couple of years ago. They have it in like this mauve with like a gray undertone. And then they have this kind of like a slate blue. I love this fabric. It washes amazing. I have no idea if they still have it on, in stock. I'm going to try to find a link for it and put it up. So if you can find it like jump on it. I think it was like less than $5 a yard, which is like um, amazing. But it, I'm going to tell you right now, if you are around Chicago suburbs, I bought it all. <laughs> I bought it all. So um, don't even try because I bought it all. Um, but that's what I'm planning for this. I also... Um, I also started working on this and I think I had told you guys about this Berta pattern a while ago. It is a wrap dress. It has um, more like a drop shoulder, which I think it's a little bit perfect for our warmer weather that we're having. And then I got this Atelier Jupe fabric from Style Makers Fabric. I also found um, I also found a Canadian company, a Canadian company on Etsy that has some of their fabrics, but they don't have large yardage. So it seems like they have what they bought and that's it. And sometimes they only have like perhaps two meters or they have more, but this is already cut. This is like extra fabric but it's got kind of like a yellow yellow and kind of like some more fun colors which i thought that would translate really well to spring and also translate really well to um summer so i'll be making that 
and I'm gonna be making view B. I'm still not quite so sure about um those ruffles that flounce around the neckline, but we'll see how I feel about it. Um, I cut those pieces so I can always kind of just hand stitch them in, see how I feel about it, and if not, I can always just remove those, but I definitely love this flounce around the skirt. So next up, so I also got this fabric, and if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I already made a Mabe skirt from True Bias, but guys, I still have a yard um, to go, and I'm thinking that I'm just going to make myself a really nice um, drop shoulder, perhaps like a short sleeve, um, almost like a blouse. Let me show you the pattern. So this is the pattern I'm talking about. It's New Look 6217, and Actually, I did not buy this pattern at the store. One of you donated a bunch of patterns, and I remember I had seen this pattern on my list. So I don't even know if this pattern is out of print. I don't believe it is, so do not quote me on that. But I love View B, and you can actually make View B with, whoa, it says, no, actually, a yard and an eighth which is a yard and six inches. Yep, a yard and six inches. So I'm pretty confident that I can make um, a top with this fabric. Again, this is Atelier Jube. It's really nice fabric. It washes beautifully and it'll be perfect for the summer. I wanted some brighter colors. And again, do you guys see this? See that? So it'll go. It'll go well with a long pair of pants. It'll go with shorts. So again, a nice little, um, nice little thing going on there. I also saw Tammy Handmade, and I don't know if you guys follow her on Instagram. She is wonderful. She is an independent pattern designer. She is out in um, the United Kingdom. I'm actually testing a pattern for her right now. But she had showed this fabric and she had made a dress. So this is mine, the maker. And I got this from Minerva. I believe that this color is now gone, but they still have it, I believe in like a blue and like another color. It is a really nice viscose. And again, if you guys kind of like see a little bit of like an abstract print, I bought I bought three yards of this fabric, 2.8 meters. So three yards of this fabric. I'm still thinking, what am I gonna make with it? I suspect it's going to be a dress. Don't ask me which one. I have no idea what am I gonna do with this right now, but again, kind of like seeing the, right? A little bit of kind of like yellows, dresses. I love yellow fabric and orange too, but it's really, really hard to find. If you guys um, look for like the right, and it has to be the right yellow and the right orange. You don't wanna look like an orange getting dropped off from a tree or looking like a um, construction cone. You really want the right yellow or the right orange, kind of like those mustard colors, which leads me to the next um, fabric. So again, do you guys see it? <laughs> do you guys see it? Right? Again, the yellows coming through. So that's kind of like another one however this is um this is swimwear fabric and i bought this from a company named knitfabric.com it is do you guys know sometimes how swimwear is it's like really thin I really do not care for that because I got some extra rolls I need to want to kind of tuck in. 
But this swimwear, they on their website, they mentioned that is um, SPF 50, which I'm like, okay, I can use some of that. But it also has a little bit of thickness to it, which I absolutely love. I think I bought a yard or a yard and a half. And I'm thinking of, I've had this pattern here, collecting dust for quite some time, but I wanted to make a tankini from Lisette. I think I'm gonna have to change the back from those thin um, straps to something a little bit more substantial, right? But I love the drawstring on the side. Um, I thought that this is like a great pattern. I love it. And I saw a really nice review online from someone that did a really in-depth review on this pattern. Again, this is Lisette 6360. And guys, this pattern is out of, um, this pattern is out of print. So if you want it, you have to go, um, you have to go try to find it at Lisette or at Lisette. You have to try to find it at either Etsy or eBay. And it goes for maybe like eight, seven dollars. So not a ton because it's just a recent um, pattern that came out. And as far as the sizing, it goes from eight to 24. So knowing that I was going to make this pattern, I also got um, some um, bra foam from a Surge Fabric. And do you guys know about Surge Fabric? They are absolutely awesome. Kayla over there, she's probably um, she's probably thinking, woman, stop making smaller orders because I just put in an order for something else yesterday. But again, I wanted to get some of this bra foam fabric because I got this dead stock fabric. And I believe I just got a yard of this and it is a designer fabric and I actually found the designer online but they had made a summer dress but I had emailed Kayla over there and I said can I use this fabric for a swimsuit and she said sure enough right it's got four-way stretch and guys it stretches a lot it is um poly nylon blend so I thought it was so fun. I'm probably gonna make myself a one piece. We'll see how much fabric I have, but definitely it's um, kind of really nice and bright. Um, and again, I'll probably make myself one piece. I got uh, the pattern from Tilly and the Buttons, and I also have a couple of Vogue patterns that are just one piece. So I'm definitely gonna make a swimsuit for that. Okay, put that off to the side. Then I also bought a couple of things from Surge. And guys, I don't know if you know, I don't know if I've talked about it, but I walk a lot. I walk a lot. Um, a lot. Probably average about three to five miles per day. So I walk a lot. And in the mornings when I start, it's usually cool. And in the, in the evenings, when I do another walk after dinner, it's a little bit cool. Obviously, as summer starts arriving, um, things are not going to be so. But I got this modal, modal spandex or just modal jersey from Surge. And again, I wanted to make sure that it is a, a natural fabric and um, it's opaque, right? I really wanted to make sure that I did that. I'm probably gonna make a t-shirt with that to go with this French terry. This is cotton French terry. And um, I had asked, I had asked Kayla if she had um, some twill or drawstring fabric because I kind of wanted to match. She said, Alex, the drawstring fabric that we have it is a purple, right? But it's kind of like a really vivid purple that is going to clash with this. So, right? So that totally kind of like works. And I'm definitely going to make myself a hoodie, either J. Lee 2795, which I have to size down. 
gomi or I would probably do a um the hoodie pattern I believe it's the page hoodie from chalk and notch which is also a pattern that I got so going to make that and of course you can't pass up some good old um white or off-white this is not quite white but this is off-white um modal modal knit and i'm hoping to make some t-shirts and i'm also hoping to make this pattern from mickey sews it's called rory it is a tank top and guys i kind of struggle a little bit with tank tops i had asked somebody on on sewing pattern review like do you guys like struggle sometimes with tank tops because i feel like i always have some sort of like a gap on my on my arms and somebody suggested perhaps do a muslin first which i guess it's it's always kind of like a little bit of a problem doing a muslin because right it's like okay well is the fabric going to be pretty close but it's going to be close enough and that I may have to kind of pinch a little bit of fabric out of there to just really close, close the armholes so they just have a really nice fit in that area. So I bought that fabric and I saw some other fabric yesterday at Surge, which um, it's, it's on its way. So guys, that's what kind of like I'm planning right and if you see i am planning a lot of um planning a lot of things that i can wear and use and of course trying to use some of the patterns that i do have on hand because again some of the things that are um some of the things that are showing up are just not to my liking so i'm really trying to kind of go after the patterns that i have on my stash that i know i really like um, but again, I hope you guys can see kind of like a little bit of the, right, really trying to make sure that things are kind of blending well and that are colors that are flattering to kind of like my darker hair and frayer skin. So guys, what are you sewing? I would love to know in the comments below. As usual, I, I was just talking to someone the other day about um the pattern from classic core patterns which i have to say they have been releasing some great patterns these last couple of days for these last couple of months i have bought the onyx pants last two months ago i think and then their pattern for um this month of april it's a really cute really cute spring dress but again, that pattern is a block, guys. So look around your patterns, right? Obviously, I never would deter somebody to buy a pattern, but perhaps look around your patterns. You probably have something already in the stash, and I do. So again, trying to kind of like be a, a little bit more conscientious about what I'm buying. So definitely tell me in the comments below, what are you sewing? in the next couple of months. Would love to hear from you guys.